For nearly two decades, Chris Wallace has had the toughest job of any television journalist, says Harvard professor Thomas Patterson, upholding journalism norms while at Fox News. In a Harvard Magazine profile of Wallace by Craig Lambert, Patterson says Wallace has been long one of the best in. Attacks from right-wing diehards haven't bent his dedication to journalism standards by even as much as an inch. I think it's gotten easier to the extent that newsmakers who you're trying to book understand the difference between Fox News Sunday and the opinion side, Wallace told me. They understand that we play it straight down the middle, we don't push any agenda or pull any punches. So I think as you build up a reputation and you do interviews, you treat people fairly, they remember that. But Wallace concedes it hasn't been quite as easy to get Democrats to come on the show, though he says the Biden White House has been pretty good about that, they've offered us a guest every. But there's no question that to the degree that they have issues with Fox News, we feel some of that, even though I think they recognize the difference. I think there's as much opinion on in prime time on CNN and MSNBC as there is on Fox, Wallace told me. Sometimes people don't label it as opinion because they tend to agree with it. But I think they push a liberal agenda just as much as some of the Fox shows push a conservative agenda. This weekend will mark the 25th anniversary of Fox News Sunday, the public affairs program which debuted April 28. Chris Wallace took over as host in 2003 and will mark the anniversary with a special edition of FNS, which airs Sunday mornings on Fox broadcasting stations and later in the day on Fox News Channel. When I came on, in 2003, I wanted to put Fox News Sunday at the forefront of the conversation, that. And I think we've succeeded at that.